Today I'm visiting JJ Churchill. These guys have got over 80 years of experience. They have a very strong relationship with Starag. This is the latest machine of six, the LX range, making parts like this. William, you head up the engineering and quality here at JJ Churchill. But before we talk about the relationship between JJ Churchill and Starag, can you tell me a little bit of background to the company? Yeah, I think historically we've, um, we've been involved in a lot of fast make and development work in terms of the compressor machining that we're doing. Uh, so we've typically been a, an engine development type uh, um, supplier into, into customers on short batches really. Uh, and now what we're doing is we're, we're moving and changing to a more of a production house really. So we're going through a quite a significant period of growth and, and, and transition coming away from what we used to do as, as that batch. And is that mainly into the aerospace sector? It, it is mainly into the aerospace sector covering compressors and, and turbine blades. So the aerospace sector is a key area of growth for the business at the moment and it's part of our strategy to, to be looking at acquiring uh, equipment so that we can, we can expand that area. And blade technology is one of those areas that has to be very refined. It has to be the best technology, the best machines. Now, you've invested over six machines with Starag. Now, this is the newest, the LX051 from Starag. But could you tell me exactly why you invest so much money with Starag? Well, we've had this working relationship and, and this pedigree of the, of the machines over the last 10 years. And they are purpose-built, bespoke machines specifically for the application of blade machining. So it's a bit of a tried and tested solution for us. Uh, and that's one of the key reasons that we, that, we, that we continue to invest in Starag at the moment, specifically the 051 range. And when you look at the growth of the company, is it very much down to actually buying this type of equipment that gives you the confidence to go out to customers to win new work? Absolutely. So we, we're investing in, in this type of equipment to, to free up, to, to ensure that we've got that capacity before we can go out and actually you know, look, look for new work and new opportunities. We can go to customers and say, we've got this technology, we've got this capacity, and that really helps us to support winning new work. Lee, Starek have had phenomenal success with JJ Churchill for over 10 years. Now, technology of making blades, is it that difficult? Well, it is complex because a blade aerofoil requires simultaneous five axis machining. So you've got to produce a very accurate aerofoil very quickly to make money at it. Now, when you look at your machines, you're making bespoke machines for this technology. What's sort of in the package for the customer? Well, there's, there's three things, Mark. Firstly, there's the CAM software. So you need to deliver an optimized cutter path. Secondly, there's the machine tool itself. And then thirdly, there's the, the after sales reliability uptime package, which we call Service Plus. Now, when you look at uh, the machine itself, you, you've got RCS software on here, and I saw this in Rorschach, but what does that actually mean to the machine and the package for the customer? Well, you can drive the machine from, from any G-code, so any, any output from any, any CAD CAM software, but because of the complexity of a blade, because of the perfect mismatches between cutters, because of the optimized step over, we developed our own software many years ago so customers, before they start machining, have a G-code file that's giving them the optimised step over and the shortest possible tool paths. Now, when you look at the actual uh, blade itself, I'm sure it needs to be very accurate, but surface finishing, how important is that? Well, surface finish is critical because what we deliver from our machines is a blade that can come off the machine straight into the box. Traditionally, blades had to be polished, and if you look at blades that are made on more conventional machine tools, you'll see steps, you'll see axis reversal marks, and the quality of the blades isn't up to scratch, and it's not what the, uh, what the customers demand today. So to achieve such a high accuracy, surface finishing, and cycle times, what makes the Starek LX range very different from a standard mill term? Well, it is different from a standard mill term because it's a bespoke machine specifically designed for blades. So the spindle itself, the range of power and torque specific for titanium and nickel alloys, the machine axes are configured specifically to hold and move a blade in the right orientation so we don't get steps and mismatches and axis reversal marks. And the whole dynamics and kinematics are tuned specifically for making blades. Now this is not the only LX uh, range that you've actually got. You go up to larger and smaller models, but do you also offer automation? 
We do, and we, we start with the O2 one for very small blades and we go up to two and a half metre blades. And within that spectrum, we offer complete automated solutions. So a cell we're delivering right now takes a blade from a Cardex system, it loads it onto one of seven machines, it, it switches between three different operations and three different fixtures, it measures it, washes it, polishes it and delivers it conforming. You cannot deliver an incorrect blade from this cell and, and that's, that's not the future, that's today. And here at JJ Churchill they're running lights out engineering here, what sort of service and backup do you actually offer them? Well, everybody wants to run 24-7 and what we've developed is a system where instead of paying for service as and when service is required and breakdowns happen, we work with customers and we look at a long-term plan, three years, five years or longer, where we offer a fixed monthly payment and a guaranteed 95% uptime. So all customers need to worry about is loading the machines, we take care of the rest, any breakdowns, any services, any spare parts are all covered in this, in this single cost. And finally, for any engineering companies that may be taking a venture into blade technology or manufacturing, what would be the message from Starag to them? Well, please come and talk to us, bring as much information as you can, so uh, component drawing, dimensions, tolerances, a model ideally, and we can look at that together with you, we can tell you how long it's going to take, what platform, what level of automation you need, because most companies now want to link machines with other processes and have a closed loop uh, FMS cell.